Hi, I'm Mr. Lustick, and as you can see, I'm a stick. I'm a YouTuber stick. Ha! How'd you like that? Not original. You know you're another stick in my videos, right? You should be on my side, man. What the At least I'm being honest. Not like that tennis guy. So I came across what Novak Djokovic said a while ago about not being anti-vax, but not getting a vaccine anyway. What? Ryanair had this great reply. We're not an airline, but we do fly planes. So I thought this would make a great video title. But then I made some other videos which nobody watched and I sort of forgot about it. But now I'm doing this. Let's do it! Rock that world! Rock that world! I know this is already ancient and I'm pretty late to the party, but I don't care. Nobody watches my shit anyway, so I'll just do whatever the fuck I want. You go, girl. Thanks. Wait, what? Now, my mama loves tennis and adores Djokovic. She says we look like the resemblance is uncanny. But I still have to shit on his opinion. I'm sorry, mama. There are rules. Good thing she doesn't watch your videos, right? You know, it makes me sad and happy at the same time. Now, everyone is entitled to their opinion, which is another way of saying that Djokovic has the right to be wrong. The problem is that when you get to a certain level of exposure, your opinions can do a lot of harm. So let's start off by addressing the big issue first, vaccination. Vaccines don't always stop the spread of viruses, and it's okay. You can't fault a car for not flying, except if you're the Jetsons. Some vaccines, like the ones for COVID, just get your body ready for war, so you have lesser symptoms, generally. Getting vaccinated is like using a seatbelt. It won't prevent you from causing an accident, but it might keep you alive. While we're using this analogy, you wouldn't drive drunk, right? That's f***ing illegal! That's kind of what masks were for during the pandemic. Just saying. Aren't we picking on Djokovic here? Why, yes. Yes, we are. I don't have a problem with people not getting vaccinated, but just like driving drunk, I do have a problem with people spouting nonsense. The f vaccines are FDA approved and tested in the real world. We have empirical data that they work. So it's kind of weird to say you don't think they're safe. Oh, you think it's a conspiracy? Okay. In a world where Scientology exists, I can believe just about anything. But just pause this clip and think about this for a minute. Do you think Mazarasha and America would actually come to an agreement over something like this and present the same type of data? Really? Really? The special military operation Russia? If you believe that sh maybe it's best if you quit life? Start over. Maybe try an elf instead of an orc this time, huh? What's wrong with orcs? Nothing, if you're an orc from Warcraft, but a Harry Potter orc, not so much. You're going to put that nerdy song again, right? Yep. I'm nerdy and I know it. I'm really curious as to what research Djokovic did to come to this conclusion, because other than believing that Maserasha and America are now BFFs, I'm not really sure how he can get there. Then again, have you tried elves? Seriously, do you think he does the same research when choosing the shoes he wears in tournaments? Or do you think it has more to do with what brand is sponsoring him? Are you saying he has some financial gain from not getting vaccinated? Maybe? That'll do it. To me, this sounds more like a publicity stunt than anything else. And I get it, I really do. I understand that he needs a way to make some moolah even after he's done playing tennis. But I don't think getting people afraid of vaccines is the most ethical way to do it. We know they save lives, not all the time, but just like seatbelts. They don't work all the time either, but I think we can all agree that they save lives. And I know, this is not the worst thing that someone can do, but it only takes a spark to get the forest on fire. It only takes one domino piece. I want to leave you with one last thought. Thomas Edison, the guy who brought us the real light, not like that other guy with the let there be light catchphrase, held public executions of animals to prove that AC current was dangerous. 
Why? Because his company sold and had patents for DC equipment. Money makes even smart people do stupid things. So with the same absurdity as Nole and Ryanair, I will say, as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs down. No one but me will know. Uh, maybe Ryanair, I don't know. You want me to just pose pretty? Or do I have to say something? Uh, whatever, just say something funny.